Hey everybody, it's Zach. So it's Tuesday and it's new release day. And today I didn't get a brand new movie, but I got a brand new collection of movies. One that I'm very excited is kind of re having a resurgence almost, because if you know much about this set that I'm talking about, which I'll obviously get to in a second, you know that these movies are a little bit hard to come by. So this set coming out really was a godsend in a way. And that set, Friday the 13th released by Paramount as they now own the rights to all of these movies back because their distribution deal with Warner Brothers is now pretty much kaput. So this is the eight movie collection. It's on six discs, so that's already, you know, very similar to the set that was released previously. If you know about the set previously, that was like the ultimate killer edition and everything like that or whatever have you, uh, the complete collection, if you will, and that one was released by Warner Brothers. It included The Final Friday, Jason Goes to Hell, Jason X, Freddy vs. Jason, and the remake. It also included a bonus disc that, as far as I know, was available in the original DVD release. So that past set is now out of print. It's going for hundreds of dollars. I was pretty lucky. Um, I got it right before it was technically out of print, and I got it for $30. And that is a steal. I paid a little bit less for this one, but you know, I still feel very proud of that set. I'm still very happy to have that set. This is a great one as far as I've kind of heard so far, but it just came out today. So without further ado, I'm going to open this up and we're going to take a look. So obviously, a little bit thicker. Kind of has to be with six discs in there. But a nice slip cover. They've used this art for years. Um, it's the one that they used when the DVD Complete Collection came out. It's the one they used at right after that. And it's very similar to the releases that they put out in 2009-10 that were on DVD except for the first three movies which were released on Blu-ray at the time. And I had those and obviously I got rid of them right before I got the new collection. So this one, it just, it's nice. It's very simplistic. And on the back you can kind of see it has all those special features on there and discussing the discs and everything like that. So, as you can see also, no digital copy. And that's something that's kind of crummy that it's not included because in the ultimate complete collection or whatever, that one did have digital copies for every single movie that was in there. And that is something that I do feel is very lacking on this one, and that's unfortunate. I would have loved for Paramount to kind of have included that, but they didn't kind of want to. So that's fine. Opening this up, just really standard shrink wrap. So mine has a sticker over it already so I don't know kind of what that might exactly mean for this release probably nothing but you know who's to say all right all right so now that I have this open already has some nice kind of creases on the cover sometimes that bothers me but I understand but yeah like I said it just it looks nice it's very clean crisp says what it is nothing crazy on there but opening it up that classic blue Paramount. So I kind of, like I said, I sold the original releases I had of one, two, and three many, many years ago. So that's kind of unfortunate a little bit in terms of that. But this does look like it's a new press disc. It's different art. The original art was silver, kind of that, not silvery gray, but you know, kind of that color. So this is new, obviously. So I assume that's the same for number two, number three, and number four because number four is the only one that kind of has a disc by itself outside of the original three releases. And it has been released a few different other times. I know most recently it was, I don't know if it was in America, but I know at least in Canada, they got a release of just four by itself. So that's a little crazy. But then the last two discs, obviously, that's kind of how this is gonna be, five and six are sharing discs and seven and eight are sharing discs. Kind of the redheaded stepchildren of the franchise, really, um, at least, I think everything after this is even worse, but you know, that's just my personal opinion. But they look very nice and very clean. I like that about this set because it's just Friday the 13th, really nothing too much to it, just really nice. And I, I like that. I mean, I, I always say it, I really hate kind of identical cover art or anything like that, but in a set like this where it's kind of supposed to look like that, it's different enough and that works for me. But I am noticing a very, very, very glaring omission in this set. There are no 3D glasses for the third one. That is troubling, considering that that one is not an actual 3D Blu-ray. It's just standard red-blue. And for them not to include those, that's kind of crappy, because it was available with the original release. 
It came out with the Warner Brothers release, and for this to not have that is just... It doesn't bother me, because I already have a pair of them, but it's... That's just kind of crappy for all the people who uh, didn't get this set beforehand might have missed out. I mean, I'm sure you can track down an old copy of the third one. That's not going to be tough, but to not include that really is kind of a jip, in my opinion. Yeah, wow. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't even kind of say, like, you know, it's supposed to, but I mean... This isn't kind of how it was in the other set where it had a bevy of like a patch and it had the 3D glass and all that other stuff. So it's not surprising that that's not on there. But kind of by comparison, um, if this is the only way you can get these movies, why not? I mean, the Paramount movies one through eight, that really is the core of this franchise. I mean, everything after that, New Line and just all this stuff. I really don't like Jason Goes to Hell. Jason X is interesting for what it is. Freddy vs. Jason is awesome for what that is. And the remake, I tried to watch it again recently, and I think I liked it a lot more when I saw it in theaters. And I was like, oh, this is great. Because when I watched it recently, I was like, wow, this movie's very annoying. That's very upsetting. So that's just my opinion on that. But if you kind of see, this is obviously this set. I took the liberty of putting my complete collection discs in a standard case because... I just cannot deal with the going in and out of uh, kind of cardboard like that, how it is with like, the Alien set, the Star Wars set. Hate those. But as you can see, the discs are extremely different. I'll kind of do a quick compare here if I can get these set pretty well. So you can see, obviously, they look completely different. And, I mean, of course, they're not going to have the Warner Bros. logo on there anymore. It's interesting that they even had them on there in the first place, but these... We're kind of done in a distribution deal, so you can kind of see. I mean, and that's nice for these. I mean, it's pretty... Like, it has the first one, says 1980 on there. Two, three, presented in 2D and 3D. And it kind of just goes from there, shows you. And this, to me, doesn't look as clean as the other ones. It still looks nice, but it's just not as good. And then, of course, these are the additional movies and features that are not in that new set. So... Obviously, the remake you can get pretty easily, Freddy vs. Jason, really easily. There are a couple double features that include Jason X and Jason Goes to Hell and available in a few other countries. It's not incredibly difficult to track down as far as I know, but it's not easy either. So we're kind of just SOL until Warner Archive or somebody like that really wants to release this because, I mean, they're putting out Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw 3 pretty soon. So sky's the limit, I guess. But really... If you can get a DVD of those ones and then just pick up this set, you're still in pretty good shape unless you really care about special features, then you might have to dig a little bit deeper on those. I mean, I'm still the guy who has the original from uh, Crystal Lake to Manhattan set on DVD just because I'm not ever really going to upgrade that. And I like keeping at least kind of one box set of these movies on DVD just in case. A lot of people, I know it sounds blasphemous, still have not upgraded to Blu-ray. So if there's ever that one instance where I'm like, yeah, let's go over and watch some DVDs, I have that set that I could do that. So yeah, Friday the 13th, the new eight movie collection. I'm still very distraught about the 3D glasses. I think that'll be kind of my sticking point where I, I complain about this set is that it doesn't include that. And I don't, they don't have to. A lot of people probably aren't going to watch it like that, but I've watched it like that before. So I mean... This is a set for the fans, and to not include that, it's just, it's dumb, in my personal opinion. Just dumb. So, you can get this, obviously, everywhere. It's in print. If you need these movies, great. It's a nice-looking set. Looks definitely good enough for me, and um, I don't know if these will be the same exact discs that Warner Brothers pressed for their set. I'd be surprised if they weren't. Uh, so it'll most likely just, you know, pop those in and they'll have the pretty standard Warner Brothers, like dot, dot, dot at the bottom menus, kind of everything like that, because Paramount might repress the discs, but they're not going to spend the money to redo these completely. They just, they just won't. That's not going to happen. I love these movies, probably one of my favorite franchises in the world, but we're, we're really asking a lot if we expect great releases of these, at least in America. As far as I know, in Germany, they've gotten some pretty solid releases of most of those movies, but... I'm not the guy who's willing to spend 30 to $50 on one film from a franchise like this, regardless of how much I like it.
So I think that'll do it for this unboxing. Don't forget to subscribe to us here on YouTube and hit the notification bell down there so you can see the next time we upload a video. And also make sure you're following us on all the social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, all of those good places so you can see kind of what we do outside of the channel. Until next time, guys, I'm Zach. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.